Hey everyone, I'm here with a quick video on Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, apparently this is suing season because she got her ex-cameraman suing her for allegedly forcing him to watch her have uh, 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 adult relations with a female in a car and he had to watch. And she allegedly told him to shut your mouth. She said, shh. You know, men matter too. Just because you a male doesn't mean you want to be subjected to seeing things that you don't want to see. And these celebrities, they got to, I don't know where they feel they're uh, uh, kind of above the law, above it all. You got to understand that once you are paying somebody, you are the employer and they are an employee. Did you, did you, it's no longer we're friends, we're buddies. It's no longer dapping them up. You're an employer and you have employer standards that you must and have to follow. So now you hear you are caught up in a whole lawsuit. Why? Because whatever you was allegedly doing with this chick in the back seat, and don't nobody care that it was a chick, but what allegedly what you was doing, you should have waited till y'all got to your house or her house or somebody's house and did that thing behind closed doors. So now you all caught up. Yeah, 2024 is the year of exposure and lawsuits. We're going to get more into this Megan Thee Stallion thing right after this. All right, guys, you know, Megan got herself in a little pickle here. Um, does everybody want to sue? Hot girl bummer. Megan Thee Stallion sued for harassment after allegedly having relations with a woman in front of an employee. Can't do that, people. Um, so Amelia Garcia claims in the complaint obtained by page six that the rap superstar had um, adult relations with an unidentified woman in an SUV during a tour stop in Spain. Okay, that's the same place where they said um, Diddy, um, let me just quiet down my phone, where they said Diddy, um, you know, used to go and have his wild parties and do everything he wanted to do, um, you know, just be free um, with his um, sexuality and his partying. So the Megan Thee Stallion's um, former cameraman is suing the rap star for allegedly creating a hostile work environment, claiming she forced him to witness her having relations and other um, salacious claims. Emilio Garcia claims in a complaint filed in Los Angeles Tuesday and obtained by page six that Megan 29 had relations with an unidentified woman while riding in an SUV during a tour stop in Spain in June of 2022. Um, the personal videographer who had worked um, with the WAP rapper since 2018 allegedly witnessed the incident as he claims he was in the car at the time. And that's them two working together. That's him behind the camera. I guess documenting everything, you know, what said tour that she was on at the time. Don't ever discuss what you saw. Um, what you saw, Megan allegedly told Garcia the next day for the suit. The cameraman told NBC News of the alleged incident. I felt uncomfortable. I was kind of frozen and I was shocked at, at kind of just the overall audacity to do this right like right beside me. Garcia also claims in the complaint that Megan berated him during the same trip to Spain with comments like, F, uh, you a fat B, um, spit your food out. And uh oh, it, 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 this is sounding like, you know, the people that was accusing um, Lizzo um, saying, you know, Lizzo fat shame them, spit your food out. You don't need to be eating. To hear someone who advocates about loving your body tell me um, these things, 
I felt degraded, he told NBC News of the remarks that Savage Rapper, whose real name is Megan Pete, allegedly made. Oh, good goodness, okay? Um, Garcia claims Megan then altered his pay from a monthly rate of 4000 to a pay per task. Uh-uh system after the trip that resulted in him earning significantly less. He allegedly also noticed a change in how he was treated and saw a decrease in the number of bookings he received per the lawsuit. Garcia claims he suffered damages as a result of what he allegedly endured, including substantial losses in earnings, totaling more than six figures in back pay, employment benefits, injuries, sickness, emotional distress, and medical expenses, and more. He endured a barrage of relentless um uh, uh, you know, S and fat shaming comments, um, plunging him into profound emotional distress. According to the complaint, further claiming the videographer now struggles with mounting anxiety, depression, and physical distress stemming from the toxic work environment. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rock Nation terminated Garcia in June 2023. As for his attorneys, he believes it was direct retaliation for his complaints about the ongoing um, illegal behavior and failure to pay him properly. I guess in 2024, everybody's coming for their money too. Megan just needs to pay off quiet what he's due, own up to her behavior, and quit this sort of um, SH and fat shame and conduct, um, his attorney says in a statement to page six. Emilio should, Emilio should never have been putting um, been put in a position of having to be in a vehicle with her um, with, with her while she had relations with another woman. The California-based lawyer, who also represents Lizzo um, harassment accusers, concludes inappropriate is putting it lightly. Exposing um, his disbehavior to employees is definitely illegal. Megan's rep did not immediately return page six request for a comment, and the hot girl summer rapper has not addressed the allegations online. Aside from Megan, Garcia is also suing in Megan Thee Stallion Entertainment, Inc., Hot Girl Touring, LLC and Rock Nation for harassment and other alleged labor code violations. You know, on the side note, um, Rock Nation is coming up a lot lately with, um, you know, said suits and things like that. This is definitely a whole hot mess. It's a hot mess. And I would just say this. I mean, it's a very thin line between what you can do um you know, as a friend and what you can do as an employee. And you got to just remember, if you are in the entertainment field and you are employing people, whether it's the camera person, whether it's your makeup artist, keep it professional. Keep it professional. You know, I do this channel, but in my real life, I don't talk too much to people. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know why? Because people will use every word you say against you when it's necessary. And then you be going to forget, oh, yeah, I did tell them that. Or oh, I told them that in private. And now they're using it against me. Okay? So, no, you got to watch what you say to people. And you almost, you know, my sister, she, she's very uh, she she's very skeptical. She's like, trust no one. Nobody's your friend. I'm like, girl, calm down. But you know what? When you are in certain positions, you have very little friends. Very little people you can trust. And usually when I do tell people something of significance, it's not like I told the whole world. There's a limited amount of people I told. And then I if I know if I hear about it, I already know. I said, well, I already know who possibly said it. Mm -hmm. One time somebody called me and it was like, oh, um, ba 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 was said. And someone said about you. And I said, listen, let's stop the nonsense right here. I already know who said it. Because this is the only person I told. So when you tell a limited amount of people, you don't have to go through the Rolodex in your mind and say, well, who could have possibly did that? You already know. Hands down. You could be 10 toes down. I only told this person that. So boom, I know who it is. And therefore, you know the mo, and you know who you can and cannot trust. So Megan Thee Stallion, um, she's going to have to answer to this. Um, let me just see if I could find his news clip. Mm -hmm. Let me see, Megan. It, it, it's just, um, it's just very, it, I, I mean, am I shocked? The only reason why I'm not shocked is because so many people are coming out saying so many things about these stars now that nothing I think can shock me from this moment on. It's just absolutely 
crazy. But anyway, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this Megan Thee Stallion story and her cameraman. That um, well, her ex cameraman. Okay, that was with her on tour. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video.